Hi there, tech friends! Today I'm gonna introduce you to a new SharePoint feature, Microsoft 365 Archive. Microsoft 365 Archive allows you to archive SharePoint online sites so they are no longer accessible and are removed from search results. Why would you want to archive a site? Well, maybe it's no longer being used, but you still need to keep it for compliance reasons. SharePoint storage is expensive, but if you archive a site, you can save money. The archived site will cost about four times less than the active site. Storage for archived sites is metered and charged at 5 cents per gigabyte per month rate versus the standard SharePoint storage rate of 20 cents per gigabyte per month. That's a savings of 75%. Restoring the site is free, but beware, it's only free within the first 7 days. If you restore it after 7 days, you'll be charged 60 cents per gigabyte. So restoring a 100 gigabyte site after 7 days would only cost $60, but restoring a terabyte site would cost as much as $600. Now that you've been warned, let's set it up. Before you begin, you must create a resource group in an Azure subscription. First navigate to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, click Setup, then use Content AI with Microsoft Syntax. Let's click on Setup Billing to enable the feature. Select your Azure subscription and resource group to configure Microsoft Syntax. Click on Archive and turn it on. Okay. Now let's navigate to the SharePoint Admin Center, select Active Sites, select any site and click Archive. Done. Now your site is archived and if you navigate to a site that's been archived, you'll see the following message. If you're curious about what your resource group contains, surprise, nothing, nada, it's empty. No storage account or other resources are created. That's because the archive isn't really stored in Azure. It's stored somewhere in the Microsoft 365 cloud and it's not visible in the Azure portal. You probably wonder why we had to create a resource group if it's gonna be empty. The reason is that the Azure group is only used for billing purposes. One lesson I learned is that I should give this resource group a meaningful name that indicates its use for SharePoint Premium. Otherwise, someone might assume that it's an empty and used resource group and delete it. According to Microsoft documentation, restoring a site might take up to 24 hours. Here is how you restore a site. In this case, it might cost a dollar to restore. You may ask. Can I archive multiple sites at once? Good question. Yes, you can. Just select two more sites, click Bulk Edit, then Archive. You may also ask, how much storage does the archived site use? You can easily check it. Simply navigate to the SharePoint Admin Center, locate the Archived Sites section and check the Storage Used column. And now you know how to archive SharePoint online sites using the Microsoft 365 Archive.